I wanna put you in my life Forever, forever 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 Baby, me love when you wind on the pipeline What is going on? Hello, did y'all forget about us? I mm. hope you did it. We hope you did it. We hope. Because we're going to forget about y'all. Mm -mm. That's why we're Could here. It. Guys, we are back from our uh, hiatus. Hiatus? Yo, I am so bad at pronouncing words. Nah, it's cool. That's why you got a partner like me. I finish your sentences, but it's I like, got you. I got a brain fart just now trying to say hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways guys we are back welcome back to the he say she say podcast i am your girl shev b and it's your boy simba oh, i thought you were gonna say simba the problem like it's not like you were supposed yeah it's not like you were supposed to say something else that right part here. of my life is gone mm -hmm. that was anyways. my right name back in the day y'all mm -hmm. simba the crowd i had boys for real mm -hmm. anyways guys we are back and um, let's get into things. What has been happening in social media this week? First of all, I want to shout out some black excellence. Okay. Shout out to Kanye. Okay. As soon as he got up up that Kardashian household, things been going good for him. He won his Grammy. And? The news report came out saying that he's worth $6.6 .6 billion. Yeah. Shout out to Kanye. Drop a funk flex bomb for that dude. You feel me? I respect that. You know, um, reports say he's the richest black man in America right now. Or is it the world? I think it's black, uh, richest black man in America, but I guess that would translate I, to the world probably. Why? Well, I don't know. I'm just saying. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the details are. I just, I just want to know like how Jay Z feels because I know how Jay Z supposed to feel. Not just like way back when Jay Z always referred to him as little brother. It was like big brother Jay. Little brother, yeah, yeah. but sometimes but now, like little brother, big brother, big brother. So you know, it is what it is. I'm it sure is he's happy for him I mean, with everything that he him, did you know? and everything, and that's more money for Kim in the divorce settlement. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like she ain't no broke. <laughs> I ain't anyway. saying that she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke, bro, bro. He he prophesied it. Anyway, she had her, she had her own money anyway. I know so. that, but six point six bill. Jeez, he yeah. probably might have to spit that. Mm -hmm. You gotta be sick right now. So, anyways, this week or last weekend was the Grammys, and speaking of Black Excellence, you already know Beyonce is the person with the most mm -hmm. Grammy wins ever, of all time, all time, man and woman and child and everybody. And no. speaking of children, Blue Ivy just won her first she Grammy. Got a second sippy cup. Her, no, no, uh, uh. She got a combination of how much her daddy has, how much her mama got. And now, that's the amount she that's got. Generational Grammys. Mm -hmm. generational. And she is the second youngest person to win. I think, was it Coffee? I, I might be mistaken, but I swear Coffee had some title of um, Grammy win for a young person. I don't know. Like, let's sure. fact check that. We ain't sure, but yeah. So, mm -hmm. what else happened in social media? I think that was it. Oh, yeah. It's been a, it has it been a slow week? I mean, I don't know if you want to get into your gossip with Fanny Wap and his baby mom. Um, yeah, not important enough to stuff. I'm sorry. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> or lack thereof, child, because it's in his kid. Anyways, yeah. Anyway. Anyways, now into today's topic. Okay. What's today's, topic book? today's topic is boundaries in a relationship. Okay, you know so boundaries in a relationship. Boundaries in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You ready to talk about it? I'm ready. I'm always ready. I'm always talking. Okay, so today's topic was inspired by a TikTok that I saw, and basically it was this woman that was doing like a a illustration of sorts, not illustration, but she was showing that her man does not like it when she closes the bathroom door. And what if he needs to rescue her? Oh, no, I'm just saying, for example. She says her man hates when she closed the door, so she, like, showed us what she meant by that. So she set up her camera. I don't know if it was hitting or whatever. And she went into the bathroom, closed the door, and he came. He woke up, and he came without even knocking. No knock, just trying to go in. She says Thank he you. always tries to barge in. And you basically, to say, like, why is the door closed? We've been married two years. Like this is his exact word. We married two years. Why are you closing the door? He needs to brush his teeth and he needs to brush it now. She's trying to take his shit. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she suggested, how about you use the bathroom, the other bathroom? Mm -hmm. And he's like, so, no, he needs to brush his teeth and it's that bathroom. Right, so, sex, but okay. mm -hmm. so, so th that's the thing, like boundaries in a relationship. For me personally, I need some sort of privacy. There's already a us and a togetherness, but I feel like we should have, we should have separate individual like things like when I'm taking a pool, I don't need you in the bathroom with me. Oh, I'm sorry. I can smell it from outside. <laughs> I really don't need to be all up in your personal space. But well the only the only thing I could say is that if it is that we only have one bathroom mm -hmm. and I need to go really badly in here in the shower or vice versa, I could understand that where it's like I really gotta go. I'm so sorry, but we gotta share this space. And I don't mind sharing space, but if it is that you really don't need to be here with me right now, I need that I need that Ooh, privacy. It's the bathroom, man. Like come on. Yeah, so tell me what you think about that. Like, I, I feel like anybody you know. should be able to use the bathroom by themselves without somebody <laughs> barging up in there. Like me personally, you know, when I go in the bathroom, that's like I want a moment. I'm mm -hmm. gonna sit down, I'm gonna take my phone out. I'm a game position. I'm trying to read all my basketball articles for the day. Like that's what I do. When I when I go in the bathroom in the morning, I sit down, mm -hmm. I read all the sports news highlights you know i sit down i check what's trending on twitter i get myself mentally prepared that's my zone that's my th i don't want you in there monitoring what i do how much milliliters of urine i let out or whatever the case may that's be like give me thinking. some space <laughs> but it's essentially why, why does he need the door to be open you know to think of it i've never seen you pool you and see you, me pool and you shouldn't have but you see me pool Simba, Simba is is not for it at all when it comes to being in the bathroom doing his like business. To at all. Like I got there's, there's some times where I'll be taking a shower and like no, I need Michelle, to eat. Michelle gotta go. She gotta yeah, go. I gotta go. And but I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna knock first. Yeah, she knocks first, first. But then she runs up in there, but it throws my whole show off. Like I have a routine. Okay. And when you run up in there, it just throws my whole show off. I just feel like rinsing off and getting out of there. Like yeah, but then I tell you, like first I don't barge in. I'm like, yo, I really need to go. I can't go down the stairs. I can't make it. I need to go. And I'm gonna get yeah. right. I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna just need to do my business and get out. You see, if if it's like you gotta pee, then it's fine. But if you ever gotta do that number two, I'm about to dish out this whole place. Like, well, it's, it's done. It's yeah. Done. But it's like the candles, let me get out of here. Like the candles. Yeah, like the candles. Get out of here. Get out of here. Because it's like, the come on. Yeah, but yeah, it's a whole thing of the bargaining. Because when I was looking in the comment section of that mm -hmm. same TikTok, like there was some women who agree and some who don't agree with the whole thing. Like, if you're married, you shouldn't have like closed doors, like bedroom doors, bathroom doors, all of that. So it's like to me, it's like when you get married, is it that 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 level of privacy is redundant? Like you don't need privacy no, once you're married. Like I need the married people like, in the comments to, to <laughs> let us know if that's a thing. Said, whatever, like you're sharing the bathroom and you gotta run up in there. She was like, you gotta leave. I'm sh my butt shy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my booty be shy. Like that's a okay. real thing. Mm -hmm. so, but it's like, what, what's the purpose? Are you gonna like? Are you gonna wipe? Are you gonna like? You know, like, is, what's the what's the reason? Man, I just need I just need to be alone. But the no, point, I'm saying like for him. Oh, why, why does he need to be there? Why he doesn't? I don't is know she, why. Like, he I don't understand if your partner is. Like, like they have an illness honest, where yeah, like, where uh, you need to disability make sure where like, but it's not one of health those. in there, but if it's not one of those, then come on. Yeah, you so it's, it's it's not like you have a toddler and uh -huh. you need to say, Hey, I'm potty training you. This is how you do it. No, it's none of that. Like you got a grown woman in exactly. your bathroom let her do a thing, man. Come on. Yeah, it, it reminds me of when you you are a teenager or you're a child living in a parents' house and they're like, You can't have closed doors in my house. That was literally his attitude towards it. Like, uh, why are you closing the door? Can I ask a question? What? What background, ethnicity, race, was he? He's from his 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 accent, I'm assuming he's African. I don't know oh, which okay. country in Africa, but he has an African accent. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what significance that player, but I ain't saying yeah. nothing. 
Come so, out to no stereotypes. So, but it seemed it seems so toxic because when she said no, use the other bathroom. He's like, no, I need to I need to use the bathroom. First of all, why is the bathroom door even closed? He went for a power tool. He yeah. literally went for something to open the door because he's like, I am getting into that bathroom yeah, he's today. Going too much. Like you you close the door, I'm getting in. Just say so. You think you get security? Uh, you like, get security? What else can you use power I don't know, tool but, to open the door? What there, you think? She got somebody hiding in the know, top? But there has to, to be a level of privacy when it comes to your relationship. Like, we're not married, but we're speaking from people who been together for some years yeah, and sure also live space. together. You just need, like, bathroom aside, like, certain things you need privacy with. It's not like I'm going to have a whole other life. You know, somewhere else, it's like basic human necessities like you still need your individuality in a relationship and boundaries not only means like from a privacy standpoint but you can also talk about financial boundaries you can talk about um emotional boundaries physical boundaries sexual boundaries like those are different types of boundaries that you need can you, in can a you relationship. go a little bit in depth on the emotional boundaries? Emotional or? boundaries, like let like the perfect example. You remember we were watching this show, um, Maria and Malcolm. That was hey, one of the most toxic to Malcolm, things man. I have. We need show us to Malcolm. Shout Maria to and Malcolm on on um, Netflix. Me and Simba tried to watch that show. What were you doing? Did you fall asleep? I finished it the next day. You finished it. Yeah. I could not finish that 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 show. It was beyond toxic. It's yeah, like it the back and forth. It was entertaining. It was entertaining. Yeah, I, found, I, found, I, found, I, found, I don't know. I just found out the, 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 the art behind it. Like to be able it was to good express. Acting. Yeah, it was great acting, you know. And yeah, it's like I can't I can't even really pinpoint who was more toxic in the situation. They were both toxic. I wanna say Marie was more toxic. Why do you think that? Because the whole thing started because he didn't he forgot to say Yeah, thank but you. she felt like the story was um based off of her life. So and then he, he had her to break like her being, heart and let her know. You see, what, why you gotta break was, her heart to let nah, her know? Because, you see, that's a problem. No, because she was assuming it was about her. He was like, no, sweetie. It was about A, B, C, D, straight no. down to Z. And, then she and that hurt her feelings because she it, it blew her ego up. It was, that's what it did. It, it was a whole up. back and forth. That is what is toxic, like emotional toxic in terms of like. In, a, in communication wise so, okay, emo- so emotional you, boundaries how would you set boundaries in that situation to so no that? trigger words no you can't say this in the heat of an argument you can't bring up um my drug addiction you can't bring up um things that i've been through that you know would hurt me that's mm-hmm. that's things if we're communicating we're communicating let's 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 do you know do you know boundaries in arguments I do what? I'm asking questions. No, oh, you say that like that. <laughs> I'm just asking questions. Yeah, I would like to believe that I know boundaries in in emotional boundaries when okay. it comes to arguments. Like I try to identify mm-hmm. boundaries, like things not to say or not to do. Mm-hmm. But obviously, we're not all perfect human beings. Okay. Mm-hmm. First of all, mm-hmm. I don't and mistakes. you're not in a healthy relationship you're trying not to go over those boundaries like things you know would would you know like mm-hmm. on the brink of emotional abuse mm-hmm. verbal abuse like you, you'd be mindful of things like that like let's say like in a conversation in an argument or so forth like my emotional boundary I wouldn't even know if this is an emotional boundary but I like time to 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 cool off and think before i engage in conversation and then my boundaries or limitations are i don't like to talk about things too long yeah. now you on the other hand you're a communicator you want to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk because i ask you to resolve it yeah so you want to talk and you know you know how i would talk less why if you listen more Oh, okay, but that okay. So you see, that could be an emotional boundary too. Like you would like for me to seem like I am listening and identify what the issue is instead of saying, "Okay, okay," like I'm sorry that happened, yeah. whatever. Because that's my that's my that's your quick fix. That's my quick fix, mm-hmm. and I can understand that your boundary would be like 
it would seem like I am rushing over the issue instead of trying to solve it, mm -hmm. to, to solve it properly as opposed to, oh, wow, this, so, that, so that's an emotional boundary. <laughs> no, but it's real, but that, that could be mm -hmm. an emotional boundary. But then it's like, how do we meet in the middle of that to see if my boundaries that I can't, for my mental health, I can't have a conversation for too long because it affects me mentally to be going on and on about the same thing but for you it's like you need to express how you feel to move forward yep. so it's like it's kind of a clash all you gotta do is listen one time now we need to be repeating <laughs> five six times just this one time that's all i ask yeah so, so mm -hmm. now okay just to, to to touch on the different boundaries that you mentioned mm -hmm. uh you also mentioned sexual boundaries yeah uh -huh. I think that's pretty straightforward. The sexual what you, is like what you're willing to do. What you're do. willing to do, but you have to talk about it. Like to say, like I don't know, certain sexual acts you wouldn't engage in, but okay. it might be pleasing to you. But you not saying it to your partner, they won't know that it's a boundary. So you need to let them know, like I'm not mm -hmm. cool with this. All right. So can I ask a question? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Your partner has. Uh, sexual request okay right you mm -hmm. know as coming into the relationship you two both agree to you know basically the the coming together is you know to take care of satisfy each other's needs mm -hmm. wants, whatever else right okay. you're committed to one person and with that commitment the the, the thought process behind mm -hmm. it is I'm committing myself to you and you alone, so mm -hmm. I'm expecting these acts to be done by you and you alone. Okay. If a request falls outside of your boundaries, mm -hmm. right? This is in no way, shape, or form. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it okay for that request to be filled elsewhere? If it's completely no, because it, in our relationship, so it's basically to say if you can live with or without this app, so, so you you amazing. finding it outside, you're basically no with, with permission. I would, I would, I would with, with permission, I would with permission. Yeah. permission. Yeah. So you're gonna go to your partner like, okay, so I'm trying to get, don't, don't I'm trying to do some, so I'm trying to do this. X, yes, Z. you're you you ain't for it. You A B C. So can I go to E F G? You would do that? I'm I'm not saying I will. That's not that's not yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone no, well I can't right. say I don't think anybody but would. I've, in a normal relationship I don't think anybody what's normal would go to the partner like, and say that should like, be a that yeah, should be a thing yeah, though. We're gonna, we gonna talk probably talk about that in the next conversation where we can okay. you know, go straight through it. But what is normal? There is people that are that normalize that type of thing. Like to go to the partner you know? and be like, I want this to happen here, not for it. So I'm gonna go somewhere. And suppose the partner says no. So then it's no. Is it that you can't live I without this, yeah, or you're yeah, just going to respect the boundaries within that, your yeah. relationship and just yeah. Yeah. respect the boundaries? Do it okay. I so guess it, that's what they would do. I, I'm not into that type of thing, so I would know. Yeah. How to so do. it it all depends on you. Another thing with sexual boundaries could be that. I find this in a lot of relation. Well, observation for a lot of relationship is like the time of day when you when you have sex. Like, suppose you're not a morning person, but the person is a morning person. Or to say, like, you know, some guys wake up with a hard on in the morning, and it's like your partner is not for all of that. But you're gonna push up and you know, wiggle your way in. Is that you're you're violating their sexual boundary? And there's another word for that. I just don't want to trigger nobody that might be listening. Yeah. There's another word for that. You know, but um, again, all this falls on communication, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, if your boundaries are clearly communicated, then there should be no issue. But A know. lot of people don't voice their boundaries. Like, it might seem like the simplest thing that irritates you, but you just, you just never... And that's crazy think. because we live in a... At a time where communication is so easy, I can mm -hmm. text you right now. You get the message in seconds. Yeah. Right. You know, like we can communicate in so many different ways, but yet we just fail to do it. Mm -hmm. But not going back to the to the TikTok video. It's like okay, some things to some people might seem minor, not that serious, or they'll take it that seriously. Because okay, the whole bathroom thing. Mm -hmm. He may know that she doesn't like when he comes in the bathroom barging in. She said it. 
but he still does it because he's not seeing it as a big, deal. a big deal or important. So the things that you see as not a big deal is a big deal for for, for, for the person. Right. So another, I could give an example with this. Like, I don't know what type of boundary this is, but it's still some type of boundary. When it comes to like messiness and stuff like that, some people they like they live they function better in a clean environment. And you might have a partner that is not so cleansy, they're messy. And for you, it affects your mental to see clutter. Like you can't Wait, function or your, your let's, mind let's is- Let's stop the recording. Let me try to say something, right? I'm not saying anything Are at you all. To say I'm not saying anything at all. I am giving okay. an example yeah, of boundaries. Boundaries might seem like the, 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 the smallest of things, but it, you know it's literally, Wait, so I'm gonna so finish. So wait, wait, I'm gonna finish okay, finish, finish that first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it might not seem small to you, but it's literally affecting that person mentally. Mm -hmm. But you know, it doesn't seem like a big deal to you. But you try, but it's like you're still gonna be messy. But it, you might say, "Oh, it's no big deal. I just put that over there, like." You know, you don't have to be I'm like sorry, that again. Sorry to whoever that couple is. Yeah, so that's that's a that's an example. One of my, one of my boundaries. boundaries is like when I put oh, stuff personally? down. Yeah, personally. Oh, okay. When I put stuff down, like, <laughs> you know, and it's moved. And I can't find it. Good. And the person who moved it didn't have the common courtesy to say, hey, I moved this here. And, you know, I feel like as a boundary, like, we are all entitled to our individual spaces where we should be able to keep things in whatever order. It may not seem orderly to you or the other person, speaking, you know, hypothetical situations, of course. It may not seem orderly to you, but it is perfectly organized to the person that it belongs to and that owns the space, mm -hmm. right? So respecting a boundary so can be as simple as leaving it right where it's at. Okay. You know, boundaries though. Uh -huh. But you know, to those who experience those difficulties, I wish them the best. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So you're saying some people just function in quota? No. Some people have orderly chaos in that. <laughs> orderly chaos function in quota. No. The same it's thing. A big difference. Okay, so we're gonna move on to another type of boundaries. Like just things coming to my head mm -hmm. with like simple things. And it's like for a lot of people, PDA. Some people like to show a lot of PDA in public. I like grabbing the booty, doing this or that, like kissing in front of other PDA. You know, kissing in front of like a group, family, whatever. And then your partner might feel uncomfortable with stuff like that. So you got to like, that's another boundary mm -hmm. that people might see as small, but it's, it's really, really important. Okay. Again, sorry to whoever that is. <laughs> grab a booty and pull it like grab that booty. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you got it, what? If you got a trophy today, would you not post a picture of your trophy? Mm -hmm. What's the point of trophy? All like public display. So why is it a trophy? <laughs> you don't want to be a trophy. Why? You don't want to be a trophy in private. I ain't never, I seen, know those I ain't right never seen a trophy given to someone behind closed doors. They don't want to be a trophy. I ain't never, I'm just, I ain't never seen someone win a race and they say, hey, come in the back right quick, I got a trophy to give you. Mm -hmm. I ain't never seen Jay-Z's won a Grammy and they say, yo, meet me backstage, man, I'm gonna give you my, I'm gonna give you a Grammy so everybody can't see you holding your Grammy. Nope. Let's talk about financial boundaries. When you think of financial boundaries, you do, does anything like stand out to you for financial boundaries? Um, financial boundaries. I mean, I guess pretty much like, you know, the freedom to, you know, use your money how you wish, save your money how you wish, you know, as long as it's not affecting the financial standing of the relationship, mm -hmm. because I feel like two entities can be separate. I can have my finances, you can have yours, and then we can have finances as it pertains to the relationship, whether it be home improvement, rent. Whatever, whatever, savings, joint savings, saving for weddings, whatever the case may be. You can have those and then you can have your own personal things where you pretty much rule the entire domain over it. Okay, so I'm glad you said that. So 
I was thinking about savings account or joint bank accounts because a lot of couples do that, especially when they eventually get married. Right. And we have our own views on savings accounts and joint accounts. Mm -hmm. So what do you feel about having joint accounts? I mean, there's no, I'm not against it. Cause, oh, you're not you know, against I'm it? I'm not against it. Okay. As, as a couple, you are act, You should actively be saving towards things together. Mm -hmm. Whether, Like I said, it could be wedding, family-related stuff, home, like whatever the case may be. And this is something that is going to be a shared, a collaborated effort. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that it is only one account. Mm -hmm. There's too many banks in the world, too many options to only have one bank account. Like, what's the reason for one bank account? And a lot of people say, like I was having this discussion in a group chat earlier this week, and he was like, you know, based on how his parents grew up, uh, uh, him growing up watching his parents, his father doesn't even know how much money is in his account. His mother handles all of that, and they have just one account. Oh, the father doesn't yeah, know? Yeah, he doesn't even know. Like, they okay. own businesses or whatever the case may be, but his father has no idea what's in his account. Can't tell you the last time he went to the bank. Mom handles all of that. And I'm like, you know, that's cool. But if you look how that dynamic is, is they own businesses together. Okay. So basically, that's how money well, too. Yeah, because right? it's, it's a joint. It's and a joint business, joint account, I we guess. We come from a generation where it's like women weren't allowed to work. It was mostly the husbands working or whatever the case may be. So if there was one account in a household, then that would have made sense because, you know, women at that point in time, especially in the Caribbean setting where we grew up, women weren't really working like that. They were more stay-at-home moms. You know, they changed as the generations went on. But having one account, he was like, he wants to be the same thing. And he was like, he, oh, he, he wants, wants to yeah. He, he was like, he wants to be able to trust his wife. And I'm like, yo, trust his not, wife. Yeah, it's not. I'm like, it's not a matter of trust. Like, you know, to tr trust things, as in what you're gonna spend the money. So no, to basically be, a be like, laundry. basically like some people in the group chat was like, you know, they. Trust no one with all your money, like to put and that's all their all in, right? So I'm just like, I mean, it's not even so much about trusting your wife. It's just like, yo, what if something does go wrong? Like divorces do happen. Not that you're planning <laughs> for it. Yes, and you know, I turned to him and I asked him one pressing question. I was like, yo, have you ever messed around with someone's wife? What? It was just a question. No, because in his mind, he was thinking in an uh, unblemished. Oh, Fantasy world in my oh, opinion. So, she took his so I'm like, no, I'm just saying, I'm like, have you ever messed with someone's wife? And then he was like, you know what? Never mind to the what one joint account. Because he was like, if he was in a situation where he was, because he was thinking like, oh, nothing bad can happen. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, this is the real world that we live in right now. Like, you're not actively planning for these things to happen. But, but I don't understand do. why him messing with. Uh, no, because he was thinking that there's nothing that can go wrong. But I'm like, yo, the same way you mess with someone's wife, that could be you on the other end. That wasn't gonna happen with all your money. Does she does she go in, go run off with the next man, or whatever the case may be, just to bring perspective? Like, yo, it's not all black and white. It's not a perfect world. Like, you know, casualties happen. Okay, so Simba went. Um, I do not know where. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so um, my thing was like, what do you do if? Your partner's financial boundary is that they don't they don't believe in joint accounts, but like they believe all. in separate savings account and stuff like that. If that's their if that's their okay. boundary, how do you how do you deal with that well, as a as a married couple? Personally, that's a tough one mm -hmm. because the whole concept about marriage is you know joining together, joining forces, joining entities, whatever the case may be. And once you're married, there are things now that one person is not saving for a loan. Mm -hmm. It's a collective. A collective future. Right? So it's mm -hmm. like, you can have your personal bank account, you can have your personal savings, and you can have the joint savings account. Okay, so you're saying like, because some women do have they're for a rainy day. Yeah, and, and as it's just they realistic. As they should. Yeah. You know, you get in case of emergency, break glass. Yeah. Like, you know, you just, and men should do it too. Men don't get caught slipping, man. So, 
Don't get caught slipping. So that, like, so that, you know, yeah. contingency plans always happen. You know, <laughs> and and all, it's not even about, you know, hiding something for divorce or whatever the case may be. They may be an emergency that pop up around the corner and you'd be glad to have a couple extra hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars in the bank. Because, hey, I'm okay. thinking big, baby. Okay. <laughs> you know, to have a couple extra thousand dollars in the bank is, is a blessing. You know, mm-hmm. so, so, like, the older people always say, don't put your egg, all your eggs in one basket. Okay, and so you know, what you're saying is that joint account plus separate savings or rainy day account mm-hmm. for a rainy day account. And I can get that. So yeah. that would be the solution for a couple that has one partner that is like, I need that, I need that. Yeah, you for can have me. your own, that's fine. Right. It's like with me, like, even though... I have my check-ins, I have my savings. Within the savings, I have a portion that is strictly like, you know, like I like to call it emergency funds. I don't want to go below that. And if I ever use that, then I top it up because it's just like, you know, again, not putting all your eggs in one mm-hmm. basket. You never know what tomorrow will look like. And to add on to that, in terms of like the whole financial boundary type of thing, like I was reading this article. So it's like, Another boundary could be, like to say like you're saving towards something like a vacation and it's like, maybe you're in the same industry or you bring in the same amount of money or Mm -hmm. something and it's like, if you feel like the other person isn't putting enough Mm -hmm. into that account, like you feel like that that could be a boundary for you to be like, are you putting putting enough money inside of this joint account that we're trying to build together. Oh, I'm not sure necessarily sure if it's a, a, a boundary, but I feel like, you know, it may be a, a breach of the agreement. Like if we say, okay, we want to say $5,000 okay. to go on vacation to Greece, hint, hint. <laughs> I need you, you wanna, to do your you know, part. We're both going to be putting in X amount. And if you agree to that, then keep your agreement. Be a man of your word, be a woman of your word. Okay. You know, but as far as boundaries go, I'm not necessarily sure how to tie in boundaries. No. Okay, how about the amount of money you spend from said joint account? Well, no money should be spent from the joint account on an individual basis. No, no. You see, this is a problem because if we have a joint account, no, okay. what I'm saying, what I'm, saving this, this is what I'm saying. If we got thirty thousand dollars in a joint account, uh-huh. and you want to take five grand to buy some new furniture for dollars, yeah, you say, hey babe, what you think about us taking five grand for now joint account to go buy new furniture for the house? Because it's not only your money; it's all money. Too. So you gotta so, ask permission. It's not. It's not asking permission. It's discussing it because. But supposed money, to say no. But I know I could. I could put. No, nah, because it's like in that case, it's like why are you saying no? Yeah, why are you saying no? Because you're like the other person probably said like, oh, five thousand dollars is a lot to spend on furniture right now. But the other person could be like, then, I know, think we could spend so, five thousand dollars so on if, furniture. If you ask me and I say, you know, five thousand dollars we we put in the furniture, and you say no. Then when I get my couches, because I'm gonna take money from my own personal account to put with the joint savings. You don't set your ass, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it seems all funny and giggly, yeah, but, but that could that is that that could be a thing for a lot of people. You know, relationship. But, but what, what I'm saying thing. is, like, I don't think there should be individual moves when it comes to the joint account because the same way both of you guys put money into the account together, mm-hmm. both of you guys should have a say. And the thing is, with having a say, it's not necessarily that you're gonna get your way, or mm-hmm. I'm gonna get my way. Sometimes, you know, your say might get a no. Sometimes my say might get a no. And that's completely fine. Sometimes it may be completely your way. Sometimes it might be completely my way. Sometimes you might go a whole different direction after we sat down and talked about it and be like, okay, I wasn't seeing it that way. For example, when you was looking at furniture the other day uh-huh. and we got in three arguments about this. Oh, okay. God. You're our shit already. Yeah, we got in three arguments about this because about the measurements of the couch. Oh my god. You're like, yo, I measured the couch already. It's this and this wide. I'm like, okay. Like, we had a full argument about measurements of the couch. I let a couple hours pass. I came down again. I was like, yo, I was, I was trying to tell you again, did you factor in this? You went off again. I was like, you know what? 
I like I, I, I gave you the measuring tape, stomped upstairs, I was like, Yeah, and I measured it myself. And then you came upstairs and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get this one more try. Like, you're in my mind, in my mind, I was between two minds, I was like, yo, I'm gonna let her buy the couch. When it comes and it don't fit, you know, just come, <laughs> come downstairs and say, Hey, I told you I so. I told you so. <laughs> and that would be satisfaction for me, to be quite honest. But I was like, you know what? Let me try this one more time. And then we talked about it, and then he was like, Oh, oh yeah, whatever. Yeah, I, I wasn't seeing it that way. <laughs> and and I was like, You, you want that's that? One. I, that's what I was you trying want to do. Okay. So you it's want like that one. it's like you wanted your own way there. I had a different opinion, but after hashed it out, mm-hmm. we decided that it was something completely different. We went a whole different direction. And then knowing how I am, I would have just gotten it. Mm-hmm. And if it didn't fit, it didn't fit. Right. Even if you said no. And then you know what? <laughs> I was going to have to lift his heavy ass back outside. Yeah, so you, know, you see how that works? Arrange the delivery, be on the phone, we're way for you for long hours talking about, yo, we want to return this because da 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 da. Because you don't like to deal with customer service reps. Yeah, I agree. And then the pressure would have been on me. I was trying to avoid that because I'm going to have to bring it in and then I'm going to have to take it off. But you see how that works. We know our role. You're yeah. gonna, we're going to have a conversation. So I'm going to do it so anyway. Well. And then you're going to fix it. Bruh. You, see, you see how that works? Bruh. No, but no, okay, getting back on track. Yes, but a I, lot of people like we're like a lot of people in relationships, if they're both in they're both earning good wages mm-hmm. and they're both put into the account. Not all the time a person wants to go to the store, like some women like to shop. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna call my man on the phone like babe, like I'm at socks. I'm mean, about to to, to, to drop five K like <laughs> That ain't for the house. <laughs> no, but I, but the person can know that they put in so wait, a good what, amount of so wait, money pause, in there, pause, so pause, they can pause, get what they want. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why not your personal savings? What? This is a personal. No, no, no I'm talking about if we had just a joint account instead oh, of yeah, separate accounts. So and, and that's exactly that's, why. That's, what I'm that's exactly why. That's exactly why. That's a wild ass idea. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like. If there was I mean, no separate account, I would just have this joint thing uh-huh. to be calling you every time I want yeah, something that's crazy. personal. That's crazy. It, it's it's too much when yeah, I know I, I can like, earn my own like money and do my own thing. You can, you can you can manage that with some simple you know agreements. This is how much you're we putting in together. You see, but it's not like a lot. No, so no, 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 it's not even that. If we spend this amount, mm-hmm. we putting them back this amount. Okay. So it's like you can spend five k, mm-hmm. but we gotta put back six. Okay. Type thing, right? Okay. Yeah, you just like we remember the goals. We can't mm-hmm. fall short of the goals. Mm-hmm. We have agreements with it. We can't fall short of the agreements. Um, what's a, a minimum amount that are like for our budget you can spend, for the like, budget for the? Uh, not even that. It's like before you need to discuss it, like. To discuss with the other half, have an amount that you can spend up to without it needing to be discussed. For okay. example, anything on a thousand dollars go crazy. <laughs> if it goes a thousand and five cents, we we need to talk about what's it going to. Okay. Right. That way, it's like okay, I know I can do this uh, without you know having to explain it crazy. But yeah, that's I don't know boundaries, yeah. man. Have your boundaries, respect yeah, people's but, boundaries. Yeah, because that. That, that's literally one of the main things. Mm-hmm. No separate account, especially when you, we eventually get married. Like, I'm not trying to call you to tell you I'm a boy. Why can't I be calling yeah, you? Yeah, like, I, yeah, like if you like, I just feel like you can have a Imagine joint phone, like, hey, savings baby. account for like our future, and no. then we have our hey. own money you know separate you know to do I'll what be, we want to do. I'll be my yo baby. Listen, I just bought. These expensive pair of Jordans, it's like the last ones left. It's it cost me, like, okay, it, it cost me, it cost me five thousand dollars. Yeah, you use your own money. No, they're coming from the joint account. Uh uh-uh, uh, you use your own money. Exactly. That's see, that, my, like, that that is my boundary. For yeah, me that's personal, not. that's a boundary. Like, we're gonna have a joint savings account where that would be like for like mortgage, you know car what? payment, you know what, bills, fellas? hydro, yeah. all of that. And then when we got our, our personal accounts, like, I'm gonna buy some shoes yeah. or a bag that fellas, I like. I'm not calling you. Fellas, say myself because a joint account, one joint account. It's never gonna be fair to you, cause she's gonna buy a million pairs of shoes. It's gonna be no issue, <laughs> you know. 
the moment you buy that that Kobe Bryant Legend Edition Black Mamba jersey, she'll be like, "You spent two hundred dollars on it. You don't want to hear it, fellas. Come on, spend yeah. it. Like, come on, just say it yourself." And not only that, anything a man buys never makes sense to a woman. That's never. a lie. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe all of that is true, but it's like. With the, the joint account, mm -hmm. what if you just, you, you just gotta keep in mind with certain things because it's like, okay, you're both, you both, both earn an income, right? Mm -hmm. Like, to give an example, and to say like, okay, you're in a marriage and like, like let's do, use some back in the day example, like the man earned more and the woman didn't earn so much back in the day and he would literally monitor how much you spend because he doesn't want her to spend. At the end of the day, it's his money. And that's crazy So You know what I'm saying? So it's like now with with women getting opportunities just as equal as men, like in some places, it's like if you if we have a joint account, some people at the back of their head is like, you're spending all that money and you're not putting in all that money in our joint <laughs> account, even though we're married. You're still at the back of your head thinking along those lines with a lot of things. So it's like you gotta have something, you gotta have something separate. Oh, you gotta stay single with someone. Yeah, yeah if like people think like that, right? Like that, man. Yeah, but I do believe in having that joint entity and then us having that personal fun for just fun, just you. And yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's that. Respect people's boundaries, man. Yeah, sexually, emotionally, physically, and the breaks. Come on, man. A lot of privacy. And that's all. Yeah, unless I can't physically move and you gotta come in there to wipe, then I think you should step out the bathroom, give people <laughs> a space. Let me do my do, let me do my number two, let me get up out of there. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, y'all, this is the end of the podcast. You we know? probably supposed to keep y'all waiting so long again. It was just a little breaky break. Yeah, you know, everybody needs a little stuff. break sometime. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, um, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, Spotify Google Podcasts, go to our YouTube channel if you want to see the video version. Mm -hmm. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. It's see, see us together. together. And follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at DamBestChef. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Island Poppy with the underscore. Follow me on Snapchat at Island Poppy 264. And follow our page on Instagram. It's underscore he says she, she say say. podcast. And we'll see you guys and in the next, next podcast. Bye y'all. Forever. Forever. Be a be me love and I want pipeline. Mm-hmm. Me lady